show that we did uh, the MIA procedure on. You can see where our digital x ray here, pretty significant bunion. This is an uh, IM angle of 17, high seductus angle of about 40. So basically, a pretty significant bunion. If we show this patient one week after the surgery, whenever we're doing, uh, we're doing studies on this, and the fixation methods we're using are actually fairly, uh, fairly uh, good here. Let me show you how this looks after one week, and this is how our fixation looks. And fixation goes, uh, the, the distal fixation goes into the cortical bone, into the medullary, into the distal fragment, and then our pro proximal fixation goes cortex, cortex, the distal fragment. You can see where we made a straight cut in her foot for the hallux, and we rotated this out in the various position. And her second toe is, uh, was kind of overlapping her big toe, so we, we basically made osteom here. We did a fixation method here where it pushes the toe and straightens out this metatarsal phalangeal joint area as well. Just should be complete. We show you the lateral x ray. You can see, even in one week, we're already getting kind of some primary bone healing here. So, no, not a lot of shifting of this uh, fragment here. Very stable. And the patients don't have hardly any pain with this as well. And we'll talk to her about this. Okay, so here we are at week one uh, with the MIA procedure. You can obviously see that we have our fixation is in place. Uh, the fixation, this, this uh, distal fixation, runs into the metatarsal, into the medullary canal, and then out into our distal fragment. The proximal goes uh, pro into the cortical bone, into the cortical bone, into the proximal fragment. We use two points of fixation to maintain length in the toe and also allow us to varus rotate the toe and to keep that in a varus position to get it out of this valgus deformity. Her second toe slightly swarmed because we had to do multiple osteotomies, moves it immediately, and we're keeping that in place with this uh, fixation. Because the fixation is partially outside the bone, you do have some swelling with this, not a lot of pain. Now, what we're doing with our study, we're looking at uh, patient's post-operative pain levels, and we're using this visual analog uh, tool here to do this for us. On a day before her surgery, she said she was around a 9 or a 10. Is that correct, about 9 or a 10 on days that were bad? And then after the surgery, because of the fixation and the st stiffness of the fixation, she said for the first day she was around a 5 or 6, and now today she's about, this is only one week later, she's about a 4. Uh, she only had to take, how many pain pills total did you have to take? 8. So you took that 8. And how many days did you have to do that? I okay. had 42 pills. Okay, how many, you only took 8 pills. How many days did you take pain medicine? I know you took it the first day. The first day, Wednesday, then I took one on Thursday afternoon. Okay, so she really only had to take pain medicine for 3 days, which is pretty good for this amount of work. Now, the, the K wires that we use, the ends are, uh, have a, a kind of a diamond shape, so when they go into the bone, it kind of holds real steady. And you can see in our x-ray, we're, we're probably going to get uh, right at uh, primary bone healing here, or just some very mild secondary bone healing. And this is very stable. You also use screws fixation if you desire. Uh, so most of the time, uh, people opt for the K-wires, and I like the K-wire fixation, because once that's out, it's, it's out. Uh, have, some studies have shown that some of the screws are, have a fairly significant amount of need to be removed. And, and one study had 25 patients. They had to remove nine screws in those 25 patients. So uh, with this, we don't have to remove screws. Significantly improved deformity already. And we'll share the preoperative uh, view of her foot. And this is the post-op as she's sitting here today. Uh, we do have her in a cam walker. So she, this is how she's ambulating. And it's kind of important to do that as well. So this is a non-painful surgery. Um, and basically uh, very effective because it allows us to correct a fairly significant IM angles. It allows us also to rotate the toe into a various position, moving our sesamoids underneath the first metatarsal head.